This is Purple Boy. I have decided to jumpstart all the Bernie Doodle puppies with their training. And so I'm just going to show a little, a couple little video clips today of some things we're starting to work on and then update every day. The first thing is actually introducing treats, which I found out he's one of the few that does not like treats, at least not yet. People don't realize puppies initially don't know how to eat treats and a lot of times like they'll just spit them right back out after you give them a treat. Obviously that's not conducive to training, so I use peanut butter, which he absolutely loves. And to start off with training on sit, I'll just say sit and then lift up. Oh, he's already starting to get it. So, come on. So again, sit and lifting that just above his head and then when he's all the way on his butt with his front paws down, I'll give him a little bit. Some puppies will sit down and then try to like stand up towards you and they'll raise their paws and I just kind of wait and level it back out. And sit. Good boy. And you can also use this for leash training, which I'll show in a second. But same thing as teaching them to go in the crate. Crate. Come in. Crate. And usually they're a little apprehensive about the threshold for whatever reason. So a lot of times I will pick up their front paws and then kind of help them. Crate. Good boy. And then sit. Good boy. It can be a little messy at first, but it really helps them to start getting an understanding of it. Good boy, come here. Alright, let's do one more time. Ooh, what's that? Alright, crate. Crate. He's leaning to see how far he can go. Oh! And one of his siblings are very sad they're not getting peanut butter. And sit. Good boy! These puppies are so smart. I absolutely love doing these little sessions. I keep sessions usually like three to five minutes. Some puppies are a little bit better at kind of sitting and going through 10 minutes, but you definitely don't want them to start to get bored and fussy. So I just keep it nice and short and he is currently in there checking out the chewy I have to work on crate training, which just helps reinforce that the crate is a good thing. So line girl, we're gonna show you her sit and also introduce the leash for the first time. She does love her treats. Can you sit? Good girl. It only took a couple of reps for her. She is very, very smart. And sit. So you're just, I mean, super simple. You lift the tree above their heads, so naturally they have to sit to kind of look up at you. And pretty soon she can do that just off of the voice command. Oh, so I'm super smart. But yeah, we're going to show you for the first time um, her putting the leash on. I keep it really loose for the first couple of sessions because the last thing you want is for it to become negative with you applying too much pressure and obviously like she is so little um, that it's not necessary to do that anyhow. So we just want to keep it happy. And again, this is where peanut butter, I love working with peanut butter. Basically, we want to teach her that when she stays by my side or comes when I call her, she gets a reward. So the peanut butter is perfect. She doesn't really realize she even has a leash on just yet. Let's go for a walk, come on. So just <laughs> having her walk by my side and she gets to eat the peanut butter. And then she's like, I'm all excited. I know, can you sit? Good girl. And also when she sits naturally after we stop, she gets a reward as well. So come on. Good girl, come on. Come on. Ooh. Can you sit? Good girl. And then something I will do is actually walk away from her while she's busy. And then, puppy, come here. I apply just a tiny bit of pressure. That way she never correlates it with something negative. And then same thing, I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to, good girl, come, pop up. Apply that pressure. So I am applying it a little bit while she walks and then release when she gives me a little bit more on her own. Come here. So just a smidge, she's coming on her own, good girl, and I'm gonna have you sit while you're here. So come on. Good girl, come on. We're gonna do walking by my side for just a second more. Come on. Good girl. And sit. And that is good for her first time, and then we'll just do that a couple more times. That way it's always positive. You always wanna end on a positive note, even when you're keeping it really short and sweet. Hmm, good girl. <laughs> Come here, baby. Hmm. 
This is Little Mint Girl. We are going to start getting her to go in her crate on command. This just helps with the positive reinforcement too when it comes to crate training to teach them to go in instead of like having to shove them or anything, which I see a lot of people doing, and then it starts off on a really bad foot. Hi, she is super, super smart, so I'm just going to let her smell the treat. Good girl, crate. And then I say crate while I kind of guide her in, and she already knows sit, so she did that right off the bat. Good girl. Give her a treat, give her a second, and then come on, puppy. I'm going to call her out. This is also helping her with recall that she knows when she comes back to you. It's a good thing to sit. Good girl. Yes. Okay. Now let's try it again. There you go. All right, crate. Crate. And then I'm not guiding her as much. She is really good at crawling in by herself and then sitting down. And she already knows to come back to me to see what else she can get. All right. Let's try this again. Can you go in your crate? All the way. And sit. Good. Now the idea is to do enough reps that I can eventually point to her crate. Not yet. I know you did what you were supposed to. Okay, let's go in the crate. 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 Good girl. So that I can essentially, without putting my hand in the crate, point. Good girl, come on. Oh my goodness, you're fine. Come here. Come here. I have more treats. Come on. Good girl. And then eventually, all of my dogs and puppies, I can just say the word crate and they already go in. So crate. So see, she's still pretty focused on my hand. She doesn't quite understand. Regardless of where my hand is, she's gonna get what she wants, but doing enough of that, she will slowly get it. Good girl. Let's do one more, huh? Let's end on a good note. Let's see. It's right here. It's right here. Focus, focus, focus. Okay, crate. Crate. So I'll even, yes, do that where like I pull my hand out while she's sitting. That way she still doesn't think like my hand has to be in the crate for her to get what she wants. So, hi. This is little blue girl. We will work on her going in her crate along with everything else, but I just want to kind of show you real quick introducing the crate and how I do that. So I always say crate when I put them in. Crate. Good girl. Let her kind of check it out. And I have a treat right off the bat. That way it's a positive correlation. Good girl. I also have, I always introduce something new, so like Kongs are really good. This is chicken jerky, um, uh, they have them at Costco I believe. So I get her kind of interested in it, <laughs> she's still not too sure about everything, but I pet her, just make it really comfortable in her crate. And then I leave her a little chewy in there, she also has a toy, good girl. And I just close her crate, um, it's the first time your puppy will really be used to being like that. And so the first session, I just sit with her. If she starts to fuss, I can put my hand in there and pet her. I do not open it up while she's fussing at all. Um, but just kind of let her check it out. Typically, puppies will do this where she's trying to figure out what's going on, where her siblings are. Um, but just me being here talking really helps the puppies. So sometimes I'll just have a conversation with myself while I'm letting them settle. And then yeah, whenever they're chewing, that's releasing endorphins for your puppy. So like I said, Kongs are great, toys, chewies. When I first get a puppy, good girl, and I'm teaching them to be in their crate, I actually feed them in there. That way they learn, oh, the crate is such a good thing. So anything positive you can do. And the first session will be just a couple minutes of this. And there she goes. She's like, ah, I kind of went out, so that's fine. Um, like I said, don't open it while they're nervous or anything because you're trying to teach her to be calm. Good girl, you're fine. And then I will further that and start like walking away for just five seconds. Just very little spurts of time while they're busy chewing on something. And then I'll make it 10 seconds and then 15. Come here. Hey honey, come here. You're fine. Good girl, you're fine. So you're just teaching them it's okay, you do come back and other crate is a very good thing. You have a chewy for this. Look. Look. There you go, good girl. And then we're just gonna stretch that time out longer and longer until I will do nap times throughout the day where the puppies are in there for 30 minutes to an hour by themselves. I do have both the crates next to each other right now. Um, and that does help with them settling to have a sibling close by. But I also like to then push the crates further and further away. That way they learn to be okay alone and this helps preempt separation anxiety starting right off the bat with your puppy. 
That way they learn it's totally comfortable when they're by themselves, that you do come back and that they get their chewies, their treats, those fun things when they're in their crate. So we'll just keep doing little sessions throughout the day with all of the puppies to help build that and it will really help jumpstart them for their new families and learning to be alone in their crate. Come here. Good girl, you got that.